Hello fellow YouTubers, this is the Imaginator. Welcome to my review of One Piece Mind Chapter 1008. This chapter is entitled Ashura Doshi Has the Mount of Tama Bandits. Um, this chapter overall was really good in my opinion. Um, it had three portions. The first portion is the Nine Scavers confronting the inauthentic Kazuki Odin. The second portion is Yamato's group still going about and protecting Monosuke. And then the third and last portion of the chapter is the strongest worst generation pirates continuing their battle against the team Yonko, which is Big Mom Kaida. Okay, so the first portion, basically the Nine Scavers going against the fake Kuzuki Odin. Uh, Ashura Doji actually convinces them that this is not the real Odin because they were pretty much very in shock and surprised and I guess you say excited and thrilled to see that Odin was alive, but we know that Odin, di Odin died before you know, Kinemon and the others went forward in time. Well, some of the Nine Scavers went forward in time, so obviously that's not the real Odin. And Kondro is part of Kondro's um, manipulation into getting them vulnerable and, well, striking when they're pretty much vulnerable because he knows that they're very close to Odin like he was. Well, well somewhat, I guess. Well, not really, but he kind of knows their circle since he was around them, you know, a long time ago before Kaido. Um, game thrown to the land of Wano, well, before he took over the land of Wano. Um, Ashura Doji actually makes the sacrifice uh, as the pain explode as he was sending off against the, the authentic uh, Kazuki Odin and to have the, his fellow scabbers uh, continue to uh, go and protect Momonosuke. And then Jack confronts them and it turns out that Dolph Storm was confident in saying that he wants to go and fight Jack himself, so he allowed his fellow his fellow scabbers to, you know, flee and go while he takes care of Jack. And it looks like they're at the same kind of health status, like they're both severely injured from their battle during the Onigashima War. I think they had earlier back when it was on top of Onigashima. Uh, so it'd be very interesting to see who will come on top of that. But obviously, I'm looking for Dawson. And then we have Yamato's group, who is still who she is protecting Momonosuke alongside with Shinobu. And we actually get an idea that Momo, Momonosuke, so he's become more accustomed to his Del Fru ability. Um, before, he, he would turn to his dragon form out of emotion, but now he's able to control that. He can now remain his normal form without, uh, when he gets into some type of emotion or expresses some type of emotion uh, overall. And then the last portion of the chapter where we have, oh yeah, and Orochi is apparently still alive and he's going about his plan to try and get Kaido, which I don't think he will ever, I don't think he will beat Kaido, I mean he's too, too weak to go up against Kaido. Um, but he's pretty much burning the Onigashima um, as his way of getting his revenge of his, of the treason that Kaido uh, committed against him. And then we have Luffy, Zoro, and the rest of the first generation pirates, well some of them, and the uh, Yonko, the Yonko. And it turns out that Luffy gets hit by Kylo's club, or Spike Club, and he is thrilled with excitement to continue his battle against Kaido. Uh, so now for much of the chapter. Um, again, this chapter I think was great. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what uh, occurs with Luffy and his growth in trying to stop Kaido and and etc. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys ladies. Hope you all enjoy. Please comment your thoughts down below. I'll subscribe to your channel be imagine for my my chapter reviews and discussions and many more. And with all that being said, fellow YouTubers, y'all all have a wonderful day.